Yo, what is going on everyone? Guiding Light here back with another video and in this one I'm going to be showing you guys how you can turn on the power in the brand new Call of Duty Cold War map, Dime Machine. So this map is actually just released here. This is the first map you're going to get once loading into Call of Duty Cold War Zombies. The very first thing you guys were probably going to want to know how to do is turn on the power. Now in case you guys were wondering, we are actually on the PlayStation 5. So this is our first look here at some PlayStation 5 gameplay if you guys haven't seen any just yet. Keep in mind though guys, we are running at 1080p still. I have not upgraded to 4K just yet because of the video sizes and stuff like that. I'll be upgrading to 4K later down the road. But either way, guys, let's get into this guide, how you're going to end up turning on the power. So what you want to do is actually stay here in this first room for a little while. You can get up to like maybe around 5 or 6. Luckily, you don't have to spawn in with a pistol anymore. You can actually spawn in with a fully kitted weapon. So you want to try to last in this room for a little while. Get about 10 grand saved up. It is a little bit expensive to get to where you're going to turn on the power. So we're going to skip ahead, just accumulate a little bit of points, and I'll show you guys exactly which way you need to go in order to turn on the power. So the very first door you want to buy is over here on the right. Once you get into this room, you want to head upstairs. It will cost a little bit of money to get up there. Each door is going to cost around 500 to 1250 Once you've gotten upstairs, you do want to make your way back here. You're going to see that purple arrow, and you want to just break open this door as well. This is going to make your way outside. From here, you want to go down into this little pit here you're gonna find it in the back now this area that we just got in is also where juggernaut is located so if you guys want to pick up juggernaut the machine is actually located just behind this doorway entrance so once you come in here you will have to wait for this little phase to end there's gonna be a bunch of zombies that come out of this bunker so get a little bit more points saved up and then you want to make your way down into that bunker and you should be able to turn on power pretty easily but you will need to buy a few more doors so stock up around another five to seven thousand points in about a one or two rounds and you should be able to now officially turn on power. So there's probably a ton of ways you guys could be farming points if you wanted to really get this done in you know two, three rounds, I'm sure you could. So now that we've cleared out some of the zombies, we're gonna go into the bunker and you're actually gonna see on the wall there that it does say that the power is located in this direction. So once you come down the stairs, there's two doors on the right and the left. They both pretty much go to the same spot. So buy either one of these doors and you should just be one door away now from being able to actually turn on the power. So as we make our way through these doors, you can keep following the purple arrows as well in case you do get lost or don't know where I'm at anymore. You want to go into this room and you're going to find yourself in this big open space here. Now this is actually the last door that you need to buy. So just stack up a little bit more points and you should be able to get the power turned on. So once finally entering this room for $17.50, it is a little bit pricey. You just want to press that big red button that's in the center of the room, and this is actually going to turn on the power. It's also going to unlock a few doors for free and allow you to get back up to the top of the map if you just come up this staircase here. And from here, you can actually buy ammo as well. There's these small little ammo crates that are scattered around, so if you do find yourself running low or running out of ammo like I am here, you can actually go over to these caches and buy them for very, very cheap, only about 250 points. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. That's how you're going to turn on the power. So hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you're new to the channel, I will be uploading a ton more guides for this game as well. How to Pack a Punch will be coming next. Also, I will be making some videos on the PlayStation 5 as well. Some new features, some things you can do with it, stuff like that. So if you're interested in seeing any PS5 content, be sure to drop a subscribe as well. Other than that, though, guys, enjoy the new Zombies map, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.